Shall I compare thee to a summer day? Cause thou hast no class. <sighs> the worst part about parallel parking is the witnesses. You know, there's no witnesses if you're bad enough at parallel parking. If you catch my drift, wink wink, saying it from my jail cell. Please fire me. A lady came in screaming and ranting how he wrote an obscene insult on her sandwich. Turns out she ordered a BLT with cheese, and we wrote BLT plus CH on it. It took me and the manager 15 minutes just to calm her down enough to even listen to us. You know, sounds like she was a real BLT with cheese. Using that. My favorite thing about fan writers is they see unfulfilled potential and decide, okay, I guess I'll do it myself. Case in point. The Onslaught Fandom. Must you people siphon away every little pleasure I have left? In France, they say MDR instead of LOL, and that roughly translates to death by laughter. So basically, instead of laughing really loudly like we do, the French laugh so hard that they die. French slang is freaking metal. Ah, death by <laughs> Those moments when straight people assume you're one of them and you feel like a gay secret agent. Lesbianage. Bye, spy. It's an ace case. Secret gay agent man. How do you politely tell someone you want to hit them with a brick? One wishes to acquaint your facial features with a fundamental item used in building walls. Repeatedly. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever read. What I'm saying is, is that bisexuals, pansexuals, and asexuals should all join together so we could be in the fictitious trifecta. Enough people will say that we're not real and we'll all converge together in a massive, fierce mass only spoken of in myth. Don't come near us or you too will cease to exist. So what you're saying is... The Queer Triforce. Can we include aromantics? Now it has become the Triforce of Fabulousness! Pucky, are you okay? Mentally, physically, monetarily, no. Yet I thrive anyways. I am just angry. You sound like my Polish friend, Milk. They name people condiments over there? Milk is not a condiment? Oh, then what do you put on your milk burger then? Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but holy shit, that's a real thing. What the fuck is that? Oh, Pucky. You have made cursed commentary for so long that now it has become reality. Suffer. My next million dollar idea. Reluctant exercise videos with people who aren't perky. Just five more, I don't know. I kind of want to die right now, too, so let's just power through it. Okay, New York Post, it's gonna egg like a bastard until your hamstrings release. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Stretch a little deeper. It's okay to yell fuck at this point. I won't tell anyone. Um, yes. Yes. Give me. I have done it. I have 3D printed out candy. X. Excuse me? It has begun. Soon, we'll be able to illegally download food. Or fucking one of you actually just becomes the next Willy Wonka with the fucking weird shapes and everything. Somebody make Everlasting Gobstoppers right now. Like how they're shaped in the movie. Do it. Do it now. Please, please. I need money need. I have a concept. A fairy tale where the wicked step-parent, who is of course also some sort of warlock, transforms the princess into a swan, as one does, kind of in the rules. But rather than running off to mope around in a lake and be beautifully tragic, the princess decides to stick around the palace and cause problems on purpose. So I see. Being transformed into a swan, the most vicious creature in the lake, allowed her to access her inner diva in a way that was completely foreign to her as a sweet natured child. And from that day forward, everyone in a three country radius was fucking terrified of anything with wings. It is a lovely day in the palace. And you are a horrible swan. 13 and 16 year olds nowadays don't have a gray point. They'll say something like, racial issues prevail because the heads of the capitalist system are benefited by it. And then three seconds later, tweet something like, Bob the Builder owns my uwus, colon three, without batting an eye. 
This is the true Gen Z experience. Once in my sixth hour, we were talking about 9-11, and I announced very loudly, more people died in Hurricane Maria than in 9-11, but nobody really cares because you can't use hurricanes to justify imperialism. And then not even five seconds later, I said, yeehaw, my beats! The world's in good hands, I think, in my opinion. All right, we've talked about it before. Kobe is for accuracy and precision, and Yeet is for power and distance. So now, we must complete the trait system. I give you! 2020 D&D. Kobe, dexterity. Yeet, strength. Oof, constitution. T, intelligence. YOLO, wisdom. And wig, charisma. Today I learned a lightning strike can strip the bark off a tree completely. When the lightning hits, it superheats the water under the bark, creating nearly instantaneous steam pressure, which blows all the bark off. Yo, that tree's now dead. <laughs> I can't believe God circumcised this tree. I can't believe you made me read that with my own two eyes. What the fuck do you mean this is a cake for somebody's 50th birthday? Oh, oh, they're five, never mind. Actually, it's for someone's 850th birthday. Actually, it's Lightning and Spider-Man's 50th wedding anniversary. Um, actually, it's Lightning and Spidey's 850th wedding anniversary, thank you. Yo, we vibing today. How much walking does she have to do to get them tree trunk thighs? Oh, joyous daily stroll of walking on her enemies' skulls and graves. Prepare for stepping. So here's a story. A couple years ago, one night, I was about to propose to my girlfriend when my roommate Joseph barged into the room out of nowhere, tripped and fell over, breaking a glass table with his face. Totally ruined the mood. Now I didn't know Joseph that well, don't even remember where he was from, but let's say I put my plans on hold to help him through his injuries. Joseph had gotten big glass shard in his eye, making him completely blind in that eye. He was walking around with one of them cotton pads on his eye for a couple months, then suddenly he disappeared along with my girlfriend. Apparently, they bonded during the time after his injuries and eloped together, leaving me behind without as much as a note. I tried to track them down, but I never could. In conclusion, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? How dare you make me read that with my own two 